the snail is freaking swimming. Oh, he made it. He made it. I've never seen a snail swim through the water column. That was effing amazing. Here I've made a few minor changes to the gudgeon breeding or the gudgeon grow out tank. I added this Anubius, or sorry, Java fern from my piranha tank. And I added a little bit of crushed coral because my pH is super low. So I'm trying to add a little bit after I did a water change to try to help keep it up because my bacteria, I believe, was dying off due to that in several tanks actually. So I'm trying to fix that. But got that cute little piece of Java fern in there right in the middle. Brought all the rocks and stuff that it was attached to from the tank it was in, but. That's alright. I'm guessing I have some females, some female shrimp in here that are in heat or uh, ready to bury up. These shrimp are swimming around like freaking crazy. Usually don't see this much activity in this tank. So I put the circulation pump in here and this little hill stream loach really seems to be loving it. Klaus I am a little worried about so I'm going to have to keep watching. Maybe too strong. I'm thinking I might have to take it out. Move it or maybe try to see if I can't find a smaller one. Something to get some current but not too much for him. The other load just came out like immediately after I turned it on, so they're definitely enjoying it. Kind of having a little bit of a downer moment here. I came downstairs to check on my fish, and my female peacock gudgeon has passed away. I'm not sure from what. She seems fine. She looks normal. There doesn't seem to be physically anything wrong with her. I don't know if she's just old like the other one that passed away not too long ago, if they're just getting to that age. Uh, I really didn't have them for that long, for maybe about six, seven, possibly eight months, and I know they live for around two years or so, but they could have been around a year old, I guess, when I got them, so I'm just really disappointed. I'm going to be trying out these new pinky filter pads, I just got them a few days ago pretty excited about it. Uh, I've tried a bunch of other filter pads, but these are really cheap, and uh, they're pretty good so far. I've used them in a few filters. This is the first time I've put them in this filter, so we're going to see how well it does with the big boy and uh, super loads of waste. So, doing a little fill up here, so I just changed those pads out, so that way I get the gunk out during the water change, and we'll see how it does. Got back with some good stuff from the fish store today. Went and got me some new tests. I got to do a lot of testing and uh, needed backup ammonia and nitrite test. I got me a new little stubby pleco cave. I figure I'll give him a long one and a short one. Give him some options. And got me a bunch of filter media bags so I can do some uh, crushed coral and some filters. And. Even though I have some pinky filter pads, I went ahead and got some of this uh, polishing pads from Acurel or however you pronounce that. Uh, I really liked the way these uh, took out the debris from the flower horn tank, so I figure I'll use some of the pinky filter uh, filter padding, and then I'll use a little bit of this on the end after that to really help polish it up after the, the pinky pad takes out the majority of the stuff. So, yep, that's my fish haul stuff. Uh, gonna go down to the fisherman and put it to good use.